Hey guys, welcome. Devro OS Plasma Desktop. So today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. This video will be more than two minutes, but all my videos have timelines and chapters. Today I'm going to be talking about creating this power button that shuts down my system immediately. If that's something you desire, then uh, continue watching. I'm going to go under the premise that you've never written a script before. So I'm going to show that completely from scratch because the, there is a two line script that you can type in to create one of these. Welcome folks. I'm going to use Alt F4 and close this. This uh, I'm going to use uh, Bash and this is uh, the latest version of Endeavor OS Plasma as of May of 2023. Alt F4 it is. And uh, I'll move this over to here. So this may be a nice convenient thing for some and uh, not a cup of tea for others. So if I have something open, I would highly suggest that you close it and save your files before using something like that because it'll immediately shut down my system when I use this. The convenient factor of using the standard keys obviously have, are fairly, fairly self-explanatory. You should also save your files before using these. But more importantly, this one has a multifunction option and a timer. So restart, shutdown, log out, sleep, that kind of thing, and a cancel button. In 90% of the, the cases, that's probably good for anyone. But there are some folks that want something like this. Shut down your system right now. So let me show you how to create that. I'm going to open up the file manager and uh, hopefully this is large enough for you. So I have several scripts in here. And this one here is tied to that one. So I could actually run it from here also. It's not a convenient place for me to do this, but I could certainly do this. As soon as I hit that button, it'll terminate my video and shut down my system. That's not what I want. I want to show you the script first. This is Kate, the text editor. I'm going to make this larger by clicking in the center of that box to make that window bigger. You can do it the old fashioned way. So I'm going to use uh, large text for a second. I'm just going to blow this up for you so you can see it. So I use a bin bash statement and then that's the command. Now I'm going to use Alt F4 and then I'm going to actually show how to create one of these from scratch. I use the same name as that one. Okay. So this one is tied to that. So what I'm going to do is create a script file, save it here and then create a link on the, my desktop for a convenient factor with an icon on it. So first start with my menu and type in text. Find the text editor, not a word processor. So I'm going to use Kate. Should be installed on your system. I'm going to make this bigger before I start, if you don't mind. And I'm going to go under the premise here that uh, you haven't done this before. So for the more experienced users, just be patient. So I'm going to use shift and number three on my upper row of keys and produces a pound. Holding still down the shift key, I press one. So it's pound explanation point. Then I'm going to look for forward slash, normally found near your enter key. Forward slash and type in BIN for bin. And another forward slash and then bash. Born again shell is what that stands for. Enter. And then type in system. CTL, all one word, lowercase. Space. Power. Off. That's all the commands you need for this to work. Save as or save. I will stick it, I'm sorry, wrong folder. I'm going to stick it in my scripts folder. Does it have to be in there? No, you can put it in any folder you want. So I can just call that test one. It's still going to perform the same action. It's going to perform a power off. So I'm going to close this, but I'm still not done yet. File manager again, documents, scripts. And uh, so test one is sitting here. If I double click it, it opens in a text editor. You can obviously see what I typed in here. Okay. So it is the same command as this one right here. And I'll open that up in a text editor to let you see it. Okay. It does the same thing. In other words, Alt F4 to close this time. However, since when I double clicked on that, it did not give me this open or run or execute. I normally don't click that. I, I like the option. So I am going to right click on test one. That's the script I just created and hit properties and permissions and allow that to be run as a program is executable is the term in here. Now I have the option of execute or run or open or cancel, but I want this as a shortcut on my desktop. So easy enough. So right click on your desktop, create new link to location URL, universal resource locator. Give it a name. I'll call that uh, 
power off now. How's that for our name? All right, so the link to location, I'm gonna click this little folder or this little symbol here, I should say, the dial, the open file dialog box and hit file and then go find my script file. And it's test one and hit open. And then here's my path and okay. Gives me a generic icon, I can right click properties and assign any silly stuff like this if I wanted to. Okay, or I can just make it more appropriate because what's doing the magic is not the icon. It's the script that's underneath that. This is just a link to that script. So let's give this more appropriate icon. I'm going to switch this from applications to all and type in shut. Now I have two choices here. So this is the icon that I used on this one. I'll use the thinner one. It's hard to see, but it's almost black. Both of these do the same action. Double click on these and they shut down my system without any questions asked. Again, in most cases, this probably is appropriate for most people. But if you want to shut down your system in a hurry, you have some ways of doing that. Thank you for watching, folks.